In today's live stream, we are going to hang out with my buddy Morten from Passive Income Geek. And uh, we're going to talk about how um, he created his uh, first uh, uh, course. We're going to talk about how to make money with display ads. We are going to talk about entrepreneurship in general. And I want to catch up with him uh, since he was very busy lately. <laughs> and um, uh, we're going to talk about other cool stuff. Maybe you have guys, if you have questions, drop them in the chat, say hola in the chat so we can say hola back to you. And uh, by the end of this live hangout, just to make it more fun, <laughs> Morten decided to give away a free license for uh, his course. So um, uh, let's get right into it. Stick around. You might, uh, you know, win a course. <laughs> let's do this. Yeah, I know sometimes it's hard when you get the feeling you just want to quit your job. We've all had that thought. This is what you want. Time to tune in. Hasta la vista, boss. Yeah, for my side hustlers who never stop. Quit your job and making your own profits. Become your own boss. Live life on your terms. Make it happen for real. This is what you deserve. Yeah, hasta la vista, boss. Subscribe, have fun, and enjoy the ride. Let's go. Let's go. I hope you guys enjoy the Hustlers Anthem. <laughs> how's it going, um, Morten? How's it going, brother? Hola, Adrian and Hola. bosses out there. Hey, <laughs> how are you doing? It's been a while. It's yeah, good to man. see your face again. Definitely, bro. Well, <laughs> well, we have talked. We've kept up a little bit, but it, it's been a while since we talked like this. No, I mean, it's um, definitely... I'm busy with, with my job. You're busy with your stuff. It's, yeah. you know... <laughs> it's so complicated and sometimes it's so annoying that you cannot catch up and talk to your friends, you know, but Hey, it, it's, it is what it is. I'm happy yeah. that, uh, you know, every now and then we can jump on these calls and we can, uh, you know, just catch up and have some fun. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, before we move on, brother, let me welcome everybody here in the chat. Uh, before I even say anything else, I'm not sure if this is working. Uh, there was, uh, some, um, some problems at the beginning with, um, with the softwares, the cameras were not working. Um, the live stream was not working. So I hope it's working guys. Let me know in the chat because there's uh, something else that's going on right now that you might not know is that we, we, we are live streaming on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitch and on um periscope at the same time so <laughs> adrian you are always everywhere i love it <laughs> total domination bro total domination yeah so uh, again like i said if you don't hear me guys let me know um, i'm gonna try to put the chat in here somewhere so i can see it uh, is this working it looks like it's working it looks like so who do we have here? We have Carl, we have Nish Informer, we have Gizmo Plants, Adrian, Helen, uh, Mike from, uh, from uh, Below Average Blogger, Jim Harris. Um, I apologize, apologize if I didn't say your name already it's because I can't see it. I'm just looking at so many things. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh, so let me switch back to this screen. And let put, uh, let's put our beautiful faces. faces. Um, so let me know uh, first, um, how are you doing, bro? I mean, you were, last time we, we were talking like live, you were uh, traveling around Europe <laughs> with, yeah, with true. the caravan. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> yeah, so the plan was to go on a long trip around Europe. And obviously that didn't go as planned due to the virus and stuff. So we did a huge tour of Denmark, which is pretty hard to do because if you drive a couple of hours you'll hit germany or sweden so <laughs> <laughs> not that big huh i can't remember if it was you adrian but, or somebody else who told me it was one of my london friends who said if if you just if you have to turn the wheel really hard to not to actually drive in denmark <laughs> for several days you know <laughs> yeah 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 that's true that's true my man 
Yeah, so, so we had a, we had a good trip. I think four or five months, and then we got back because we bought a house while on the road. Actually, nice. I, I drove back and looked at it. Maria didn't see it. We just bought it because it was the right one. And yeah, so we're moving in in a week. So a lot of stuff is happening. Man, <laughs> so you say that you didn't see the house. Maria just went, "Hey, I want to buy this house. See you later, bro." <laughs> we we definitely knew the neighborhood. We knew ex ah. exactly where we wanted to live. We have some friends next door on both sides, so. The, the perfect house just came for sale. There was an old woman living there and we just knew that was the one. So, Man, yeah. big congrats, you know, big congrats because... Uh, Thanks. Um, you know, owning a house is definitely many people's dream. Uh, yeah, we've been living in a city apartment for forever. I think I've been living in this one for 15 years now. So, wow. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, bro. Uh, yeah. Let me just quickly check the chat and see what's going on in here. Of course. Um we have Aaron as well, Aaron Connolly, who else is in here? I think a niche informer. How's he going, brother? All good as far as I can see in here. That's awesome. That's awesome. So um, tell me uh, about your course, bro. I'm really curious to know um, yeah. how, I mean, first of all, uh, for people that might not know you, uh, do you have like a 20 yeah. seconds uh, commercial uh, introduction? <laughs> <laughs> I can try. <laughs> well, I've been at this for a while, 13 years, I think, and been in digital marketing like since I can remember. I never, ha never had a real job, I guess you can say. I was a musician <laughs> for five years, got into e-commerce and then figured out I was good at SEO. And then I did that for many years and here I am. So, yes, yeah, so I got rid of all the SEO clients just to do this full time and things got a little lonely here in Denmark. There's not too many Danish folks blogging in English and doing what we do. So I figured I just got to meet some people, you know? Mm. So that's actually why I started on YouTube. And then I figured if I'm going to start YouTube, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to teach people what I learn and not just, you know, give them bits and nuggets. I so wanted to offer something real because I I thought I had something. I think yeah. I have something. Uh, you definitely good, something, have for sure. Something new. So, yeah. That's awesome. I, I don't know if that was 20 seconds, but <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no, that's cool. It's just in case, because I'm sure that most people know you here in the chat. Uh, it's just that um, uh, just people who will watch on this on the replay, yeah. um, you know, maybe they uh, want to know more about you. Um, yeah. And by the way, they can find you at um, PassiveIncomeGeek.com, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm mostly active on YouTube. I don't I think I have one blog. Uh, mm. post <laughs> on the <laughs> site so this is a youtube thing and there's also a challenge i gave myself to go on youtube a year ago so yeah i mean everything else i do is on blogs and in writing so i just wanted to try something new yeah well we definitely did a good job because uh youtube it's uh it's uh it's doing really well uh, your youtube channel growing you know have loads of views which is awesome um thanks so thanks. yeah likewise thank you very much so tell, tell me about the um the um the course bro so first of all yeah why did you decide to make a, a course like you'll see many people on the, on facebook will say oh uh, there's so many facebook uh no there, there's so many courses already out there why we need another yeah. one blah 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 yeah 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 and i i took most of them i've been taking a lot of courses over the years all the ones you know i've taken them and i've been inside and out of them and i just thought i could do something better to be honest <laughs> Some, and I mean, there's some really good courses and there's some bad ones, of course, but there's definitely a lot of <laughs> crap. We all know that, but there's some, there's some good ones. And, but I feel like, I feel like I have a fresh approach. And also, I mean, this is a course created in 2020 and a lot of things have changed. And that's obvious when you go over courses that not everything has been updated. So yeah. And I, I think I have some unique approaches and funny sure. mix between different stuff and since I've been in the game a long time, I'm, I've seen Google evolve. I've seen courses and, and SEO evolve many, many, many times. And so I, I feel like Google is heading in one direction. That's how I'm building my course. You know, I have this you no know, link building mm -hmm, approach. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't mean that I'm not trying to get links. I'm just not proactively Shh. going after them. So. <laughs> don't say don't say it. <laughs> yeah, Google is watching. No, yes, no, no yes. I, I'm trying to do everything Google teaches us to do to get links, and yes. then I'm trying to to speed that up 
crank that all the way I can so I get the links, but I, without having to, to be honest, I've built so many links in, in the past since I did this for 13 years, all for clients, for myself. I ranked huge sites for myself also. And I was just happy actually to figure out that you could do this without links. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's really awesome, bro. That's really yeah. awesome. Um, so no, not, I, not without links, but no, without actively go out and, and begging, asking and paying for links, as mm. I usually say. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. If, I mean, I've I've seen this all the time. I mean, I, I haven't been in the game as long as you've been in the game, but um, for sure, I've seen you know SEOs and people fighting with each other. Oh no, uh, <laughs> building with links works. No, 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 you're talking shit. No, it doesn't work. Blah blah. blah. But yeah, my end, head is white. My yeah. gray. My slide gray. <laughs> <laughs> but it does work both ways. To be honest, I've seen it. Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah. I mean, you see, you have people in the chat. Um, Carlitos is here. He's making loads of money <laughs> already with his websites, and he doesn't. I I don't think he's doing a uh, uh, link building campaigns. Um, there was um, Jesse, I believe, is your name, brother. Niche Informer is making as well uh, money with uh, that type of business or yeah, that totally. model. So I've done I've done working. that for many years. It's totally yeah. working. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's always going to depend on how. Uh, there was actually a question in the in Facebook group in Alex uh, WP Eagle Facebook group was uh, if you need to use PBNs or something like that or but in my opinion the the if you want to if you want to build links you'll always build links for pages that are targeting keywords that are very hard to rank <laughs> You know, if you yeah, and the thing is, those pages are typically the hardest one to get links to naturally because who mm. wants to link to the best X for Y post? Is something that's super super affiliate heavy. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so there's some conflicts in there, and then yeah, and I'm just trying to balance that in in my course and by by not building links, just yeah. doing some stuff to to attract the links more organically or naturally. You can say yeah. Nah, that's that's awesome, bro. That I guess that's the beauty of uh, being in this um, industry. If you want, I, I've learned personally. I've learned. Uh, not to say, oh, no, no, this is because I've, I've been around SEOs and uh, mm -hmm. they are very active SEOs, um, you know, building links, doing whatever, uh, breaking, trying to break Google and all that. Just having fun, right? Yeah, we need some people to do that so we yeah. know what Google is like, right? <laughs> <laughs> and guys like Kyle Roof and yeah, those exactly. cool guys. I love what they're doing with this stress uh, test Google. I had, I've been doing some of that myself to see when Google breaks, you know. <laughs> ah, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's so fun. Yeah. You know, it's fun. But um, then I realized that, hey, you know what? It, it doesn't work just one way. There's many yeah. ways to skin a cat, by the way. I'm not saying I'm not going to skin cats. So <laughs> I'm just saying I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, it's, um, it's great to see that another perspective, right? Uh, let me see here in the chat was saying, Aaron was saying, yes, I can vouch for Morten. I mean, his course, really good info. Thanks for that, brother. Uh, Carl Ka says Morten course is fresh and up to date from someone walking the walk, not just talking the talk. That's another good, excellent point. Um, you are doing this stuff. And Jesse says, Niche Informant says, I watched uh, Sean Mars' mini review of the course. Ah, Some yeah. pretty positive feedback there already. That's awesome. Yeah, I think that came up this morning. Mm. That's good stuff to see people taking action. Uh, Commit is in the chat. And Osama as well is in the chat. Welcome, guys. How's it going? Uh, by the way, if you enjoyed this so far, give us a thumbs up. That would yeah, be man. Give Adrian a thumbs up. Big one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um so uh tell us do you want to tell us a little bit about what's what's in the course um yeah i can do that i i can also do the quick one and then you can ask if you want to know more so it's <laughs> what you can say an all compassing course that's also why it took me eight months i've been building on this most of the year and it just kept growing and so there's everything it starts out with how to find a good niche and then how to find a good domain name how to do topic research that's what i call keyword research mm. and so it, it to, starts yeah. pretty uh, pretty basic, right? It starts for yeah, yeah, if, yeah. You have you have everything. So you right. So you actually go from from scratch. You don't have to have the niche and idea when you start. And then I go over how to create content, how to outsource it, how to monetize it, and everything in there. So that's so it's actually nine courses in a bundle. You can say but mm -hmm. you get access to everything. Um, it, it's all or nothing. So so it's all in there, and it's 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 quite extensive. I think it's 
around almost 70, 68 videos and, 68 and 100, years, wow. 130 lessons or something like that. So it's it's quite extensive, but but you don't you don't consume it all at once. You can go no. back. There's there's hours and hours of videos of how I do topic research and how I do everything in this research, and you can come back to it and watch it again later when when you need to see some more examples. All right. So I'm guessing, like, coming back to the backlinks, I'm guessing you're not teaching how to build links. I'm, I'm coming at it from a different perspective, a different angle in the course. Mm -hmm. So I have my own, um, you can call them post templates or article formats that have helped me get some really crazy links over the years. So I've analyzed my thousands of blog posts and seen what actually got some really, really juicy links organically. Mm -hmm. And then I'm trying to put that into a formula or something that people can use on, in, in every niche. So I have a lot of different types of articles that I show people on my side. I walk them over, why did this work? Why didn't this work? And just and also just from a ton of testing that I've been doing over the years. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Let uh, me quickly check the chat. Uh, there's nothing saying in the chat. That's awesome. Let me go to uh, another question. Like, um, uh, I think you've touched a little bit on, on uh, why you uh, create a course but like what what's your perspective like what do you think you bring fresh to uh to this uh yeah you know to to the online courses if you want yeah yeah i think i come with some fresh perspectives for sure so what we already talked about and also as i said i do my own testing I, mm -hmm. i've tested some pretty crazy stuff that's also something sean morris talked about in this review this morning he didn't mention it, you know, some of this stuff is inside the course for a reason, so, so I can't say exactly what it is, but there's some testing I've been doing, just testing stuff that everybody believes in the SEO world that I have I feel like I have a fresh perspective on that works pretty well. Mm -hmm. Stuff you don't have to do, stuff you should do differently. Mm -hmm. So there's some testing there and that's some, and as I said, some content types and also for ads and affiliates, some, some content types, some types of articles that I see do really well with that to, to get that super high. Uh, RPM or EMPV, people want to call it. Yeah, that's it. And and also, in order to uh, get the most traffic to your site, I feel I have some fresh perspectives there on how to create an outline for your articles. So you attract much more traffic. In yeah. in the sense of um, uh, uh, testing, how do you test your stuff? Do you test your stuff on on um, uh, how do you say on um, uh, live websites or test websites yeah i i test them on, on live websites websites that i built to monetize but sometimes they will never take off because i did some crazy stuff there so mm -hmm. so i have i have a lot of sites and some some fail because i i just test some stuff out but most of it succeed to some to some degree you know it's not like it'll be spoiled or totally yeah. destroyed it's just testing out different strategies and that's yeah, awesome. so I, I have quite a lot of <laughs> sites. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Definitely, it's uh, great to have uh, websites that you can play with, you know? Yeah, um, and I think it's fun. I, I, I love to, to play around with it. And, and the thing is, it takes some time. So I typically launch a lot of stuff. And then, you know, it, it typically takes 6, 12 months before yeah. something really shows the true potential in Google. True, it's true. Uh, I have a few websites of my own <laughs> that yeah. are sitting there just uh, waiting for some spam yeah. content so i can test stuff <laughs> uh, we have in the chat we have uh wp ego how's it going boss welcome hey, hi alex i talked to alex this afternoon actually awesome alex is awesome uh, he definitely is uh tambir is always uh, is as well in here how's it going tambir uh, he says due to the pandemic i'm a little bit in trouble to buy his course but as i trust him i'm going to buy it at any cost he's a trustworthy person and provides real oh, value. Hey, listen, um, if you think you're gonna be in trouble, uh, I, my suggestion is not to buy it. Don't don't get yourself in trouble to buy the course, but there's definitely one thing that's, uh, I agree with you, is that Morton is trustworthy and um, he's really genuine. He, I, he's not gonna sell you the course and then see you later, boss. <laughs> you know, he, he's gonna be no. in a community uh, yeah. helping you. And that's actually something I haven't shared before. So little breaking stuff. You no, know, I, I have a video about it tomorrow, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to start a site January 2nd where people inside the community around the course, so people can build a site together with me, alongside with me. 
And then we'll build this stuff together. So there's some people in there already signed up for it. Sean Morris is going to build a site mm -hmm. starting January 2nd. And he's also going to blog about it inside the community and have some, some other friends. And some, some will be completely newbies. Some will have been at this for a while. And so that's actually the invite to the to the course right now to, to come and build together with us. Because if you feel like at some point down the road, your numbers are not adding up to what I'm doing, to what somebody else is there doing, we're going to take a look at it and make sure that you totally nail it. and We'll help you get there. So that yeah. sounds great. That sounds like awesome. <laughs> so um, Nish Informa Jesse has a question here in the chat says, uh, Morten, do you publish 100% informational content or do you sprinkle in some best X for Y uh, type posts that are just straight affiliate? Yeah, definitely. I, I do both. So in the beginning, early on, I typically do a lot of informational type stuff because it's just easy to get some, some early traction mostly there you, you can totally do it with the other type it's just the thing is just that those other ones are typically more competitive right mm -hmm. so it's harder to rank for early on but as soon as i get some authority i i, I do a lot of affiliate posts and i i have some fresh formats for those as well outside the best x for y i've done a lot of spins on that because those are typically taken but there are many other types of way you, you can go about that that's not taken so i definitely do both and i try to have a healthy mix of ads and affiliate on, on my site as they mature but typically early on it'll just be a lot of ads because it's so much easier mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah sure thing uh, michelle is here as well michelle good morning good morning to you good night to me <laughs> yeah uh, uh, she said it's even, yeah. even later here it's 9 30 here 9 30 oh man thanks for being here bro i appreciate it um and she says she loves your work brother thanks thank you appreciate it um let me see i was i saw something here in the chat no it doesn't look oh alex says nice uh, sound effects yes uh i'm getting this to another level alex <laughs> yeah i can't wait to see them on the replay <laughs> <laughs> um so if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. I even dropped the uh, Hangout link in the chat. If you want to join us here, say hello in person to uh, Morten or ask him a question if you want, whatever. Yeah, that cool. That feature is so cool, Adrian, that people can actually pop, pop up here and, and talk to us. That's so cool. I haven't <laughs> seen anybody else do that. I love what you do here, man. Number one, thank you very much. But Alex did it as well last week, and it was uh, so awesome. <laughs> last cool. week, I think, or well, last week or two weeks. This is awesome. a kind of uh, a talk show. That's what I I want to do, yeah. like in the future with this channel, you know, where people really can join cool. in. Uh, so Carlitos asked here in the chat, what was the um, what was the process like, actually making the course? Was uh, was it a piece of software you brought? Or did someone build the program for you? Ah, okay. So the, on the technical side, I'm using a WordPress extension called Learn Dash. Mm -hmm. So I saw it both with Authority Hacker and Income School also use the same software. So it's just a plugin you install on your site. And I liked how they did it. So I didn't want to reinvent the wheel. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> so definitely. Yeah, I just yeah, yeah. did that. And I also didn't, I really wanted to have like one experience on my site and not have people go elsewhere to get the site and get mm -hmm. the forum here and on Facebook for the community or whatever. So I gather everything on my website. So when you log in, you have everything there, the community, the course material and all of it. So yeah, it's, it's pretty out of the box. Just learn dash. That's great, man. And um, you teaching uh, in the course, you teaching people how to uh, make money with ads specifically or? Yeah, both ads and affiliate and also a bit of info products, but, um, but mostly ads and affiliate. Right. And um, yeah. you're talking about demonetizations, uh, how to monetize it with different platforms or? Uh, yeah. You, yeah. Because yeah. Uh, I just um, signed up with Ezoic and mm. Wednesday we're going to have a hangout as well with the guys from Ezoic. Yeah, awesome. So make sure you guys you check it out. Um, and it's it's interesting to me because I, I had, don't know anything about ads. Mm. Like how, how can you make um, money with ads? Is, is, the, is this um, working just uh, by people coming to the site and it depends on the views? They need to click on something or... 
it's basically just views so and that's the cool thing about it you just need people to stay on your site for a while so with uh Isoic, i think it's every 15 second there's a refresh there's a new ad ah. in that same slot and with ad i think it's every 20 seconds okay so they do it a little differently but they show the ad for a while and then it refreshes and then there's this live auction so if Ooh. so they check your search history they check your browser they check everything they can have that you can allow them access to and then they'll know exactly who you are what you look for so if you've been looking for something they'll try to retargeting ads they'll try to match you up with what your search history shows that you're looking to buy right now mm -hmm. so it's just so many things that goes into that auction that's why it's so much smarter than adsense because it will bid the price up super high so you can sometimes get 50 dollars for a thousand page views with that that's nice bro that's nice um uh, Michelle has a question. Let me check the question quickly. Morten, when you use uh, your analytics to support successful content, do you use the queries to make new articles or expand on the original article? All right. So yeah, I link Search Console to Google Analytics. So when I have the Search Console data inside Google Analytics, there are a few more columns there. So you can check the CTR, you can check some other pretty cool stuff but uh, i i do check that to see where i have a lot of for example one, one way to use it is, is to see where you have a lot of impressions but not so many clicks mm -hmm. that meaning that's meaning that you're showing up for some search queries where you don't have the perfect headline people are not clicking on your stuff they're not getting over to your site but you're showing up that means that you can compete with your site right so i'm going to to, to take those and create a, the perfect article for that for example so that's one way to do it and i think that's that's the easiest win when, when you have all that data and it's pretty cool because that's data only you have access to it's not like it's out there in some keyword tool you just take it tap into data that only you can see because you have this website right and yeah that's 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 a pretty good way to go about it no that's and easy to do as soon as you have any traffic you can start seeing the impressions much longer before even before you have clicks right that's awesome um i i think i need to learn more about this but again like there's no time and talking about building a website, I'm building one as well. Uh, as we speak, a new one. I got a little bit bored of the one that I have. <laughs> um, Come build one with us in January 2nd. And nah. yeah, if, if you want to, you know you have access to the course and you're in there if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, I don't want to, um, I don't want to hold anybody back because I, 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 ha I need to work on my own time, you know. And yeah. since you guys are, most of you are already full time uh no it's not gonna be it, it's gonna be we're going we're going to go at a pace where you can do it besides work but i know you have a thousand things i just, just wanted <laughs> to say it oh, it's thanks, going thanks to do it invitation. at a pace where people can can tag along even though they have other things to attend to because i understand most people do not cannot do this full time like myself and and, and yeah a few others we are minority no that's cool um michelle says here in the chat that um uh, uh, currently, she's making videos to add to pages in Ezoic and um, uh, that she loves Ezoic. She, uh, her EPMV jumps to 65 bucks per day. Wow, awesome. That's awesome. Is it <laughs> per day or I, I don't know how... That's probably you... per thousand page views. So the EMPV is how much you're earning per visitor on your site per thousand page views. So that's in the sixties. That's that's pretty awesome. This is because we were closing up on Black Friday and Christmas. I also had a few other sites going even higher than that. So it's it's very common. We have the best time of the year right now mm -hmm. for the next month. Yeah, this um, uh, this um, I'm looking a little bit like silly here not knowing what epmv is but it's it's earning per thousand yeah. visitors so normally we say rpm revenue per thousand page views so it's just different terms the the different network so with the so it's always empv they have their own metric uh below average a below average blogger mike how's it going brother says um he's asking is this a course designed for a brand new blogger or does this often uh, does this offer something to blogging uh, veterans as well? Yeah, so uh, both. And it's always nice to say it's for everybody, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just come buy it. Yeah. But but, but it, it actually is. I, I think you should go and watch the review by Sean Morris because this guy knows what he's talking about. And in the review, I believe this morning, uh, he said that for on one, one module, he took a whole page of, of notes. So he learned a, a lot of new stuff there. But I the, the thing is, I... I've been teaching SEO for 10 years to clients from everybody from the carpenter under the corner to huge companies. And, and, you know, 
most people don't know anything about SEO when they have a yeah. company. So I've learned to teach this to beginners, but you can teach advanced stuff if you know how to teach it. You can teach people how to, to do complicated stuff if if you just take <laughs> them through the steps and you don't start rambling off about CTRs and RPMs and EMPVs and stuff. So so the thing is, I have a dictionary, but I try the first time I mention any specific word or something that's just lingo from the marketing world. I explain what it is, how to use it, and there's a video you can skip if you're a pro. So, so I go over some pretty advanced stuff in there that will take your site to beyond full-time income. And I show how I, uh, how I taken this to, yeah, you know, <laughs> the sky's the limit. <laughs> I show you how to even how to outsource everything. I'm running like all my sites from five, 10 hours per week. And it's, it's a pretty extensive portfolio. So I show you guys how to do that. But, but before we do that, we have to, so that's also why there's 130 lessons and there's 68 videos because I want it, I want to teach people everything <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome man and, uh, and you know when people join that's why probably the question was you know uh who's who's uh, who's the course for because you know yeah. you want to get like everybody or as mu as many people at different levels you know and uh, teach them your secrets <laughs> yeah it would be boring for me to do a beginner's course because it's, it's been ages since i was a beginner but i had some of my friends who know nothing about what i do go over it and they i asked them to tell me when i'm just talking stuff they you know when i'm talking over their head and then i explained it better and better and better until everybody understands it even though it's quite complicated some of it's some of the stuff yeah uh behram Be Be behram i'm not sure if that's your name brother i apologize if i butcher butcher your name um how to build domain authority really fast by building links mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the way yeah if you want to do it super fast it, it takes time to build authority that's how it is that's how it is in the real world you don't start any business and become authority overnight it's, i mean business doesn't work like that unless you put it on coke sure thing <laughs> uh chris from uh, niche safari is here what's going on brother hey chris hey i want to give uh chris a big congratulations as well because his channel just uh, crossed the 1000 uh subscribers as well yes awesome there you go <laughs> well done chris that's huge <laughs> nice one buddy um, there was another question here. Questions are building up. Please be patient. <laughs> Thanks, Helen. Awesome. It's a little bit hard to, uh, just, uh, uh just for today is going to be a little bit hard. Like I said, guys, I'm streaming to four different <laughs> platforms, <laughs> which is crazy. And I need to look at, uh, all these, uh, things in here. But I'm going to catch up with you guys. Justin is here as well. Justin, how's it going? Steve Mack, hello. Um, where's that question that I just saw? Uh, Tambir says, Sean mentioned that you recommended Bluehost hosting. Would you please share your experience with that hosting company? I heard a lot of yeah. negative review. Yeah, and I... I mean, he's definitely not the first one. I've been using Bluehost for years. I never had any issues with it. Otherwise, of course, I wouldn't recommend it. But I actually reached out to Sean today and also uh, also Alex, VP Eagle, and a few others to ask them, do you think Bluehost sucks? Because I don't want to recommend something that I'm the only one with a good experience with. So I'm actually ex changed, um, putting something else there soon because if so many people had bad experiences i don't want to recommend it maybe i was just lucky but i mean i had good experiences so far they always helped me quickly do everything on the chat so that's just my experience but i'm looking to to replace it since most people seem to have bad experiences so yeah yeah i mean uh it's like when i started i started oh alex is trying to join um when i um when i um, um hey alex <laughs> hey what's up buddy <laughs> so when when i started i used hostgator and me too actually yeah and um it was it was um great for me I, I, as long as when you started for example when you start your journey you don't need host you don't need site ground you don't need wpx no, no, no. you just have yeah. a small website maybe no one is gonna find your website you know what i mean yeah. um alex exactly. welcome to the stream brother can you hear us i can hear you can you hear me yes we can yeah. perfectly yes. 
It's the so, horn police here. I've come to you. You've, you seem to have stolen my horn. Hang on, hang on. Is, is, this, <laughs> is, this, is this the horn you're talking about? Let me hang on a second. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I, th- I don't think you have this one. <laughs> well, are we on? Are we live? What was happening? I think so. Yeah, the thing is, uh, you you hear me on Zoom. It's it's a different it's a different feed than the YouTube. So the YouTube uh, okay. is the YouTube is gonna be a few seconds uh, after you hear me talking. Yeah, I think you're very brave streaming on four platforms at once. Well, uh, as long as my machine doesn't crash, um, I don't care about the other things. It's just fun. <laughs> it's just fun for yeah. me. Yeah, I just wanted to chime in on the hosting thing. Yeah, go on. Cool. Um, I've used Bluehost and I've tested them in the in the past, and they're they're part of the same group of companies as Hostgator and all those guys, EIG. And I th- when I you know I originally used to start when I started, I recommended Hostgator and and they were fine. And I think you're right if people have got a very small budget and they're just starting out, then maybe Hostgator and Bluehost and that are okay. Um, the thing is, people like Sean and all the other guys that he hangs out with on the Reddit community, as soon as they see you mention one of those companies that are in the EIG group, they'll just go, oh, what's he doing to go near them? Because Yeah, I see that a couple reputation. of times in my in my comments on my YouTube videos. Well, oh, dude, he recommended Bluehost. You. <laughs> <Yeah>. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, that's, that's all. But as you say, I think for people starting out, whatever, that they might be fine. Um, but yeah, as I say, I did a review of some cheaper hosts just the other week, and there are some good ones out there that are cheap and, and, and good. So <laughs> you can always change that in the course. I've been looking through I got access to the course this morning. I've been looking for it. It's really good. And um, yeah, you can learn, learn a few th- things, even if you have been doing it for a while. Um, he's got some tips, for example, on help a reporter out, which I think Doug was selling a whole course on that just the other day. And you get it in part as part of this course. Uh, and that's something that I've not really done much with and there's a few little tips in there that i think you know make the difference between someone who's just kind of talking about this stuff and someone who's actually done it before so yeah definitely worth checking out i, I still want to digest it all there's a lot in there to go through thanks alex definitely uh, i just want to say uh hello to a, a friend of mine that we used to work together like 10 years ago back in spain javier mora uh, Javi, welcome to the live stream, bro. I know that you don't speak English. No hablas eh, inglés. <laughs> but um, thanks for being here, bro. It's so awesome. Uh, the guy is very, very... Uh, this is a big head chef now. He works in a in a big uh, hotel chain in Spain. You're going to be next Ramsey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> awesome. Uh, hang on a second. Let me see if you guys uh, dropped any more questions in here. Uh or let me just see this comment here from Commit says, yeah, hosting companies are a bit like supporting football clubs for some people. <laughs> yeah, it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly, for the first year and a half, almost two years, I just used HostGator. And people say, oh, no, it's so bad, it's so bad. But it was so awesome for me, even the live chat. Every time I had a problem with uh, following Alex's uh, uh, tutorials, and I didn't know what to do. I was going quickly on the live chat. I said, hey, what's going on? How can I do this? You yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think I don't think they're as good as they used to be with mm. HostGator. I, I definitely saw the service kind of diminish a little bit recently with HostGator. But that mm. seems to happen with a lot of hosting companies. You find these great hosting companies and then they get bigger. They get more popular. They maybe buy up other companies and just the service level just mm. goes down. They add a few more sites or a few more thousand sites to each server or whatever. And, you know, it just doesn't work as well as it was. But with HostGate, I mean, they had that deal where you could get hosting for just one penny. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I remember that. Yeah. Out and you got no budget. It was perfect. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense that people get angry over hosting because, I mean, if your site get down and they don't fix it, I mean, I would be a horrible person if my site was down <laughs> for more than five minutes, right? Nobody yeah, want to exactly. be around me if my site is down. So you want to be able to contact them quickly and have somebody who knows what they're talking about fix it. That's just what I experienced. But I, I have very few things they needed to fix for me on Bluehost. It's more when I went to VPX and I have larger, bigger sites and more complicated stuff running. And then, of course, you have Supreme support. Yeah, WPX are very good as well, but they are they're premium, I guess, aren't they? They're quite expensive. Yeah. Yeah, they're very expensive. Yeah, I mean, yeah. even for I'm, for my pocket, I don't have a big um, like websites portfolio, so 
I don't need to be that big. Yeah. I, I typically recommend people going over to something like VPX or SiteGround when they hit like 80 or 100,000 page views per month because then you should also have the money to support it. So it shouldn't be a big issue. Yeah, for sure. Or if you're a baller like Jim in the chat, you what? go and use WP Eagle hosting. There you go. <laughs> he was recently just signed up and um, yeah, we're for the people that have got a portfolio of sites and they need uh, their hand holding and just, they don't want to care. They don't want to worry about their hosting or anything like that. Just let me and uh, Phil take care of it. That's ah, awesome. Cool. Uh, with, uh, anyway, I'm going to go. I'm crashing your stream. I'm nice. It's cool, yeah. man. Thanks for joining, Alex. That's awesome. No worries. See yeah, you. Talk soon, Alex. Bye. Have a good one. So um, there was a question here from Carlitos. Uh, and he says, what's next for you, Morten, now that your course uh, is launched? Yeah, so I've been neglecting some of my sites for a while because I've just been working really, really hard for the last next last two months to get this out because I promised everybody from the start I gave myself this deadline of November. So there's some stuff I need to attend to. And then I'm moving into a new house in a week. And But also I this month, I hit my 100 articles per month. So a lot of things happened this, this month here. In, or it was in October, I we published 130 articles with my team. So I'm definitely going to go hard and publish more and more. And, uh, and yeah, some, something else that's happening right now in my camp is that I'm trying to hire some experts in the niches that I'm Ooh. in. I'm testing out hiring some fact checkers. So these are a couple of retired guys with really high education. You know, been working in this field for the whole life, the niche that I'm in, to go into some of the more, actually to, to go in and, and fact check the articles, make sure that everything is up to speed mm -hmm. and just to, to improve the content quality and make sure that, that, that it's, it's good. So I'm testing some things around that. And then, as I said, I'm starting a brand new site in January. I'm, this whole community thing is new to me. Um, <laughs> I'm in the community all day long because I think it's fun. And that's also why I started my course. So I yeah. wanted some more community around me and I have some pretty good guys in there already. So yeah, so I'm, I'm going to spend a lot of time in there, but also, of course, keep Definitely. my YouTube game up. For sure. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm going to jump when, whenever I can as well, guys. I'm going to jump in the community as well uh, to, uh, you know, help and learn and just uh, build the community. Awesome. Uh, You're welcome. Um, what would you class as neglecting your sites? Jim asks. Yeah, it's, it's ba it was basically my writers and my editors been running my business for me for the last couple of months, more or less. So I've been onboarding new writers and also these these new guys um, that I talked about before. And then I, I haven't basically checked the rankings of the earnings for, for a <laughs> while because I was just doing the last sprint. So I, I've been working most of the nights for the last three weeks just to get everything shiny and ready and extra edits and just make sure that that it's error-free and that everything is consistent because when you do such such an extensive course, something I wrote in April. Maybe I even changed my mind about something, you know, and then I'm writing something in the end of the course that should be consistent with the first stuff. And then I wanted the, the what can you say, this, <laughs> um, I wanted it to work like something you can go over as steps. So there's just so many yeah, things yeah. to it. Yeah, so my, my brain is a little fried. If I, for sure. if I repeat myself, it's because I'm getting too much coffee and too little sleep for the last <laughs> month. <laughs> That's all right, my man. <laughs> That's all right. Um, hang on, there was something here in the chat. Oh yes, uh, Steve Mack asked, how's the new house, Morten? You moved in yet or doing work uh, to it first? Now we have some people doing the work for us. So we're moving in next Tuesday. So in eight days, we're moving in. And this, so Maria visited the house today that just did the floors and, and the walls. And so it's, it's an old house and this, Lady in there has been smoking in this since 54. So really? the, the walls are like yellow, sticky Jesus. when we, it was. So now it's getting all shiny and nice. <laughs> but you'll see soon enough. I'll do some videos from around the house, I guess. <laughs> That's awesome. I can't wait to see. Uh, sorry, I apologize. I was just trying the, uh, the audio, the songs. I hope it's working. It looks like it's working. Um, uh, Carlito says, guys, I have to go take care of everyone. And again, congratulations, Morten. Thanks for coming, Thanks. Carlitos. See you, call. Take care, brother. Um, there was another question here. Mm. 
Thanks, Helen. She says, Helen says in the chat, if you enjoyed the stream, guys, gives us a thumbs up. Please <laughs> help. Yeah. <you. laughs> uh, Do it. I did it before I went on. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Uh, tell you, tell them, tell Maria to give us a thumbs up as well. <laughs> I will. Yeah. And hey, Max. I'll create an account for Max to give you a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jap says here in the chat, 100 articles. Nice. For how many sites? Yeah, so those, it was actually 130, I think 132 articles in October. Jesus. So those were posted on it's three sites that I'm posting actively actively on right now. But I'm I'm working on five or six sites, but they don't always get content each month. Mm -hmm. but yeah, it's, it's across three sites. That's awesome. Um, 150, 130 articles, Jesus. That's a yeah, lot. Yeah, but you know, I have a team of writers right? yeah, so, yeah, yeah. and a team of editors also. So I don't even touch the articles. I just write the outlines and find the topics for them to write. But that's, much... that's also some work, actually. Definitely. How much money that cost you? Uh, good question. I think on for most of the writers, I pay them two cents per word. Some I pay three cents per word and some I just hired. I pay four and a half. I think that's the highest I pay. And then I have some that I pay per hour. So that's, that's those are the fact checkers because they're pretty hard to to do a word count when you're just reading through and sometimes do rewriting and stuff but between two and four point five and then you can do the math it's 130 yeah. articles i think i would my guess would be on average say around 15 to 2000 words maybe 700 1700 words on average i think that's that's a lot of money it's it's a lot of content <laughs> yeah yeah it is a lot of money yeah um we do invest every month some uh, certain percentage i i don't do income reports because i feel it's very personal how much money we make yeah, i don't i yeah. mean my parents know it my friends don't know it even my my brothers and sisters don't know how much money i make I mean, i'm just a <laughs> private person in some regards and i don't like to have my income plastered all over the internet but i do log in and show people numbers from at five and yeah. that's cool that's cool for sure um there was a question here from Tambir says, Morten, what's your opinion about Namecheap, Namecheap hosting? Yeah, I use them on, on a site. One of Maria's sites is on Namecheap. I, I have, but I, I've been very, very little in touch with these guys. I maybe been in the chat once or just went in to find an invoice. So I, I, I don't know. You would have to ask Alex, I guess he would be the the pro there. I, I, I just find a host that I like, and then I just do it. I, I'm a simple guy in that regard i don't test hosting companies um uh, there's uh, i i always do this i forget i forgot that you know we we talk about it and, we, and then i forgot that we we said that we're gonna do a um um a giveaway <laughs> and now i just remember yeah um i'll take this question from jesse uh, there's a good question in the chat from niche informer and then we do the um then we do the uh giveaway so Jesse says here, what's the turnover like uh, for your team of writers? I find that mine either quit after five to six months or mm. uh, start getting lazy and sloppy and I have to let them go. So I'm consi consistently hiring new ones. Okay. Yeah. So I have some writers who's been with me for many years. And when somebody leaves, it's typically because they have some personal things they need to attend to or they get another job. So I, I, I do a couple of things. And this is also something I talk about in my course on the outsourcing part. But a few pointers. I, I've been a freelancer myself for many years. Mm -hmm. So back in the day, so I know how it is to work with several clients and how to handle that business. So I try to be as awesome a boss as possible <laughs> to them. So I always pay immediately when i get the invoice i let them know that i'll do that so they don't don't have to go in and check it so that's one way i try to be awesome so they don't want to leave and i help them as soon as they can they always have access to me and also to the editors my editor will check in with them weekly we use different soft type of chat software for that so they can always get a hold of somebody quickly if they need help that's another way and we do great outlines i give them templates and stuff so i just try to really be awesome to work with because i know they can they can probably, if they wanted to, after a while, they can get a pay, better pay somewhere else. But typically, they, they stick around. I, I I try to hire editors who is somebody you want to drink coffee with, somebody you want to hang out with, because they do video calls with them. And then I, so I have video calls with my editors. They have video calls with the writers. So it's sort of the structure. So I want everybody in my organization to have 
an awesome place to work and to want to see me as the best boss they have. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, we want to be our own boss so we can be better yeah, bosses. Yeah, but you'd be surprised how many people hire people without ever talking to them, you know. Wow. Just give them a headline, write this stuff, and then they criticize them when they come back with something else. I mean, how should they know? You, you need to... to hook up with them on Skype and, and Zoom sometimes and just talk to them and and, figure, and and educate them on how to write and be reasonable and, and just be generally nice guy or girl and talk to them because everybody wants a colleague. They don't want to just have some boss they have never met. So <laughs> I think it's you have to do very, very little to be better than the average hire on Upwork and ProBlogger and Fiverr and all these platforms. It's very, very easy to stand out just a little bit, but just give them a little bit more. Sure thing, sure thing. Um, I'm going to come back to you guys in just a second uh, to the chat and um, we're going to uh, take a few more questions. Um, but like I said, I want to do this um, um, giveaway and I'm just going to take me a few seconds to move, check, to go to the other screen. Uh, in the meantime, start chatting, start typing uh, something in the chat so I can grab your names, guys. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> start, uh, see if I can see the participants in here. Where is this thing? Bear with me, guys, because like I was uh, anticipating, my machine it's uh, it's uh, slowing down because there's a uh, there's a lot going on right now with this machine. So uh, Josh is here as well. Que pasa, Josh? A nomad overseas. Let me quickly. This is a great idea, Adrian. To Thanks. have this wheel. Does it pull it in automatically or did, did no. you type it in? I have to uh, look. I have to uh, let me put it on the screen. So I have to um, take the uh, participants and and I have to put them here manually. OK. So this these are the people in the chat right now. So make sure you type your name. Uh, sorry. Say something in the chat, whatever. Say hola, say hello. Um, just so I can get your your name as well. And there's just Coop. Hey, Joss. Yes, yeah. Just give us a second. Okay, and this is the last call. Okay, guys, the last call. <laughs> the last call. All right, I have everybody. I gotta use this at some point. It's so cool. <laughs> This is just a website, random website on the web. Mm -hmm. So is everybody here? This is everybody here in the chat, guys. Uh, so let me play this uh, for us. Ready? Yeah. One, <laughs> two, three. A nomad overseas is the winner. Yay! <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, so send your email to Adrian or myself and I'll get you hooked up in the community and the course immediately. That's awesome. If um, if you don't like if you don't want the course, let us know and uh, we can give it to someone else. Yeah. Okay. This these things happens as well, you know. Uh, maybe the person doesn't need it. Yeah. Uh, cool. So let me quickly go to the chat and uh, uh, ask a few more questions. Uh, answer a few more questions, like you were saying. Um, like I was saying. <laughs> Do we have a, a few more minutes for us, Morten? Yeah. 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 Cool, Sounds brother. Good. Let me just go back to see where this was. Uh, na, 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 Leona. Oh, Leona. Leona, how's it going? Welcome. Leona says, where do you find your writers? 
Yeah, mostly on ProBlogger. I also have some some people that I found on Upwork, but I I did shift out up, Upwork because I mean, when you scale up Upwork, there's just so many annoying things you have to do with milestones, and it's hard to get the paperwork out of it to your accountant and stuff at scale. So, so I mainly use ProBlogger because that allows me to work directly with people on up on Upwork and also other platforms. You have to work inside the platform. I like to use my own software. Mm-hmm. Um. Tell me a little bit more about ProBlogger. I was talking to a friend of mine and uh, he find his writers there as well. And I, I think it's a little bit more expensive. Talk to me a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I think they raised the price from 60 to $70 to do a job post. But um, but uh, yeah, so, so it does cost a little bit, but it also pays back. I, I would say there's some pretty good people in there. I mean... Even if you go with some weird niches, there'll be some people in there who knows about that. So there's just a yeah. lot of eyeballs on it, a lot of pe- a lot of people in there. And I had a recommended, I can't remember who, but some other huge publisher with, with, with a large team. And I was. just felt like this was the right way to do it. And you'll get a lot of applicants. You'll just you, you'll get what you what you pay for for sure. Cool, yo. Uh, I want what is, I want. I was. Okay, okay. Um, so since I asked the question, if you don't want the course, let us know. Uh, but Anomar overseas says, I want it. I was actually considering signing up this week. There awesome. you go. That's your Christmas <laughs> present. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Christmas. <laughs> oh, awesome. Merry Christmas. Uh, let me see if there's any other question here for us, uh, brother. Morten's channel, yeah, definitely, guys, go and uh, check out if you if you don't know. I mean, Morten is kicking my ass on YouTube, so you you know his channel. <laughs> um, uh, Niche Informer says Upwork is so clunky. I move writers into email, PayPal after yeah. I vetted them. Yeah, that's a yeah. great idea. And Upwork get angry with you with you if they figure out that you're talking to your writers outside it, and it's just a big hassle. Then all of a sudden, you know, your account is blocked or whatever. So yeah. Alex, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for jumping with us on the call, brother. Um, see you later. Take care. Yeah. Uh, yeah. T- check out Alex's uh, uh, live stream tomorrow. He's going to be with... Is it tomorrow? Yeah, it's yeah, typically it's Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. And uh, he's going to have one with Carlitos on Wednesday. Uh, these guys are going to talk money. <laughs> I, 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 I don't see, I don't see, um, what's hello in Danish, Aaron asks. Uh, you just say hi. Hi. Or, go, uh, or a little more weird one, go day, means go, good day. Go day. Go day, that's like a... Uh, <laughs> good day. Yeah, ask uh, <laughs> Literally. Chris, uh, Chris in the chat will say, you know, Australians will say. <laughs> yeah, no, we come from ancient Viking language that migrated over to UK and the US. At least that's how we like to think about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Connor is here. Uh, Connor is here. How's it going? Uh, new game show, Steve says. All righty. I think um, I think we've... Um, I think I had uh, all the questions answered. And um, now I don't know if uh, if you want to talk us a little bit about uh, what's um, what's the next now. And uh, I, I know that Carl asked you this earlier, but um, I, I'm, I want to know if you uh, we were talking about properties. If you remember when when I posted that on Facebook, mm-hmm. that I'm gonna buy my second property. Yeah, I'm curious to know that. You know, are you investing in other things other than than your you know, online gig? So not up until now, because now we just bought this house. So we've been saving up for it. I'm a big fan of being debt free. I became debt free like five years ago. And there was a big thing. That's actually how we started this go downsize site mm-hmm. that you've mm-hmm. seen if you're following along. And I, we did a lot of stuff about that. I owned a hundred things for a long time just to get out of debt. So I'm a big no debt guy. <laughs> so so we saved up for the house. We, we, it's not like we're buying it completely in cash, but, but we, so that's what we've been saving up for. And when we paid that off, I'll probably also buy an apartment somewhere here in Aarhus where we're moving out from because it's a, it's a, what do you call it? A second city It's not the capital, but it's, it's a, it's a big city here in Denmark. And I think I'll, over time, I'll definitely move some money out of digital into properties, but 
Yeah. Also because I don't want to have, I don't want to 5X or 10X my portfolio. I mean, I have a lot of sites already and everything is somehow connected to Google, right? And yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's I mean, to s- spread your risk also. And then I'm saving up for retirement and all that good stuff <laughs> <laughs> that well, I don't can, want to bore you guys with. <laughs> well, you can't retire right now. I mean, you know, you can teach someone how to do some of uh, some parts of your business and, you know, just, yeah, I like to think of it as mini retirements. I think it's, um, in for a work week, you know, yeah. it's, uh, you know, you know it well, but uh, yeah. yeah. What, what's, what's the guy's name now? Uh, um, Tim Ferriss. Yeah. Tim Ferriss. Yeah. I, I re- read that book a long time ago and yeah. he talked about mini retirements and yeah. to do not just save up for this huge retirement when you're almost dead and maybe you can't even walk, <laughs> but, but do it, do it gradually and do it or at when it makes sense and that's what we've been doing we've been traveling a lot we've been traveling all the continents almost in no, a I long love... time in the states and africa and asia and that's now we have a kid so we can't do it as much but um yeah we're a family now so there's max <laughs> ah beautiful yeah it's awesome so we don't travel as much because max hate being on the plane oh man <laughs> my baby girl hated as well you know uh but um for some reason now she loves to um she loves the plane because she knows that when we take the plane, we're going to Spain and she's going to be able uh, to play on the beach, you know, on, nice. on the sand. Nice. So now she's uh, kind of um, willing to, you know, not being afraid or yeah. be afraid a little bit. <laughs> for, and then we have the coronavirus. That's it, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but um, <laughs> it's going to, it's... Um, it's it's fine now it's fun you know but um, for, yeah exactly like you said now the coronavirus it's yeah. uh it's not helping us yeah it's not that fun to travel denmark for four months Just... uh i know that we need to go to spain to sign the paperwork for the second house so mm. so um it's gonna be a headache for us to travel especially because in spain they have quarantine we need to pay mm. for the test you know you need to test yourself before you travel it's a lot of crap yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that sucks. Uh, Jim Harris asked, "Yes, brother, your name was in there. I just checked it. Um, I just checked the uh, the participants. Um, Otherwise, come join uh, Emily, Emily Gardner's live chat on Wednesday. Yeah. I'll do uh, the same thing there. We'll also do um, a free giveaway. So definitely show up for that one on Wednesday. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I think it's around the same time. It's a little earlier, but you can check it out on her YouTube." Yeah, channel. check out Emilia's channel. Um, I know you. She, I know you guys are gonna go live, but I just uh, don't remember the time. Uh, Morton says, "A nomad overseas." Morton's check out the site Nomad Capitalist. No connection to me. Uh, they'll give you some good ideas for investing. Um, a recreational combat. Hey, how's it going? Uh, sorry, I'm late, bro. You just missed uh, the chance to win. Um, a license, but hey, just go to the other web stream, uh, live stream. Maybe you can get one there. Ben Turner, my man, how's it going, brother? Finally got something the same time zone. What's up, <laughs> Ben Turner? You should come to on the channel, bro, to have some fun. Uh, if you don't know, guys, uh, Ben, he was on Doug Cunnington channel as well, um, like a couple of years ago, I, I, I would say. Hmm. Yeah, cool. and uh, we kind of been on the same journey, and uh, we became friends, and you know, just uh, building that community. That you know, being around smart, smart people, and ambitious, and positive. So we've been friends since then. Um, awesome. Going to check out John Dystra writer's clever ghost soon. Anyone use them? Michelle says. What did What did you say? Um, John Dijkstra's what? John Dijkstra's writers. Oh, Dijkstra. Oh, yeah. I thought you said John Dijkstra. <laughs> <laughs> Clever Ghosts. S- uh, anyone use it, them? But um, it's probably a writing agency. Hmm. Haven't used it. I have my own writers. That's awesome. Uh, Kevin, uh, how's it going, Kevin? Hello, hello, guys. Hola, boss. How are you? Um. Ben says, happy to come on anytime. Not much to add compared to your other guests, but for sure. Hey, it's just for fun, bro. It's just so we can, you know, have some fun as well. Not talk about uh, making money and building sites all day long. <laughs> uh, Kevin is from Romania. Hey, my my country. Awesome. Um, 
Chris says here, I'm on my first month of unlimited clever ghost plan, 19 days into the month and I've received zero articles. Absolute joke. Jesus. Uh, that's probably a mistake. Yeah. Let's yeah. See. Hopefully. Maybe the coronavirus has something to do with it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe mm. they have less people working on stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I know. Uh, there's more people interested in here uh, into uh, Clever Ghost. But as you can see, that's that's the um, that's the experience for now with uh, with these guys. All right, I think. Um, Did I you empty it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will Peach, what's up, brother? What's up? What's going on? Uh, I think uh, we can wrap it up here. Um, yeah, it's been an hour than, already. Yeah, I mean, I could stay two, three, four hours. I'd, uh, I'd really <laughs> enjoy. But um, I should definitely also come check out your live streams here more often because I've just been living on the rock to get that course out. Bro, Hughes and and, come. and Alex's and Emilia's. Yeah. I'm definitely going to be a little more social moving forward. That's <laughs> that's on my to-do list. That's that's something that's happening for me moving forward. <laughs> no, that's awesome. I, I can't wait to have you. And maybe when I have another guest, you know, just jump on the on yeah, that'd be awesome. Calls. Like Alex did. I, that's so cool. Mm. That's so awesome. All righty, guys. Uh, hey, thanks everybody for stopping by. Congratulations to um, uh, a nomad overseas. I think he was. The winner, yeah. I, hope, I hope he was a nomad overseas. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to see you in the community. Uh, congratulations. Ma and make sure to say hi in the community so we can congratulate you. For sure. And um, thanks, everybody, for stopping by. And remember, stay focused because we're going to get rid of that boss, all right? See you on Wednesday. There's another live stream on Wednesday with Ezoic. Until then, have a nice Monday evening, night, morning. Bye-bye, everybody. I know sometimes it's hard when you get the feeling you just want to quit your job. We've all had that thought. This is what you want. Time to tune in. Hasta la vista, boss. Yeah, for my side hustlers who never stop. Quit your job and making your own profits. Become your own boss. Live life on your terms. Make it happen for real. This is what you deserve. Yeah, hasta la vista, boss. Subscribe, have fun, and enjoy the ride. Let's go.